All right, what is up, guys? We are back with Attack on Titan, Chapter 123, Island Devils. Um, I really, I mean, first first glance at this chapter, I'm really hoping, crossing my fingers, this isn't going to be, like, entire flashback the, the entire way through. Um, you cannot leave us off of the cliffhanger that was last chapter and then go straight into a flashback. You know what I mean? Like, come on, man. I need to, I need to see where this is going. Um, but okay, let's go. Um, so everyone says Aaron has changed. I believe that too. But maybe that wasn't true. Maybe Aaron hasn't changed one bit. And that was who Aaron's been all along. What part of Aaron did I see all these years? Really interesting question. Because I feel like I've been doubting the same thing. I've been having the same questions as well. Um, so there really are cities past the walls and people living in them too. Don't say wall this, wall that around strangers. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah, I know. At long last, we are the first humans from within the walls to step foot outside the walls. <laughs> Why is she saying it? Uh, also, Sasha, I just, I just noticed it's her. Um, you could say this is a return to our original mission. Let the survey begin. Welcome to the, con the continent of Marley. They're actually in Marley. Whoa. I mean, it makes it makes sense as to why you know they they had to have done some reconnaissance at, at some point, but at the same time, I, I I would imagine in order to to get allies, right, or at least kind of like um, meet with people who sympathize with with their their cause, right. Um, but at the same time, being literally in enemy soil is so risky. Um, and then it's like you have people like like Hanji here, man, that I feel like can throw this at like uh make makes that risk go even higher, you know what I mean? Um anyway, allow me to show you to the lady Azuma Bito's Bito's estate. Um, huh? That horse, what is that a horse? <laughs> I'm always I'm always a big fan of these kinds of like plot lines of like two different cultures like clashing together or not necessarily cultures but just like um strangers in, in a strange land type of type of storyline so like you know a foreigner in in a land that they've never been before right um the last kingdom for instance um um a a viking has to kind of like maneuver uh through a a saxon landscape right so it's like those two cultures going up against each other and and it's it's really cool seeing it in the attack on titan world because they've never seen a car right um there's so much technology here and and stuff that they've never really been exposed to and this is them seeing it for the first time um there are cows like that <laughs> yeah a cow it's a car <laughs> we heard about them before coming hello car hi hello <laughs> and you have people in the back being like um what <laughs> uh this is bad they're staring uh, now they think we're bumpkins for sure uh, let's pretend we don't know them <laughs> that's exactly what i would have done um if we don't stop them they're going to try to feed carrots to that lump of iron uh, yeah, I forgot. They're buying carrots. Uh, so many people. Hey, Aaron, there's no telling what'll happen here, so stick close to me. Aaron? Yeah. Quit spacing out, Aaron. We're in the outside world, aren't we? Yeah. This is what's on the other side of the sea. Right. Hey, stay with the group. You especially. <laughs> we'll be right there. We never noticed. Maybe we just didn't want to. God, I, I absolutely love this shot right here. Absolutely love it. Um, I'll take this, please. Sasha, you can't keep. Enjoy. <laughs> uh, this thing is cold. What is it? First time eating ice cream? You guys gotta try this, too. After all that talk about blending in, it's fine. No one's going to think we're those island devils. Um, that's... That's something I haven't even really considered is just like the things that they haven't really been able to eat. Ice cream being one of them. I just, I, I don't know. I don't know why. Uh, but I guess, I guess it does 
makes sense given like the sort of like technological gap between the two uh the two sides but then so that brings up the question like what other kind of like food and things have they been robbed of this entire time that they haven't really gotten to try um anyway hey there son <laughs> there's a clown too <laughs> um you want some candy <laughs> Uh, I guess you. Um, dude, Levi is about to murder this guy. <laughs> he is literally about to murder this clown. <laughs> oh my god. Um, wow, what fun. Are you kiddos playing gangster? Dude, look at Mikasa's face with the ice cream. Dude, that's that's a face of, of someone that, that we must protect. Um... What smells good over there? Is it what Nicolo told us about? Three more, please. <laughs> yes, sir. Try some too, Aaron. Is that ice cream? You know what this is. Only through my old man's memories. Eldians in the uh, intermittent zone rarely get to eat them. There are all sorts of things outside the walls. Man, what a shot, man. Um, hey, that's not your coin purse. Oh, this little this little kid just really pickpocketed who, Sasha? I'm guessing. A pickpocket must be another immigrant from an enemy state. Um, how did you get here? He can't understand us. That he snuck onto a ship. How about we toss him into the sea? No, smash his right hand. Let's tie him up somewhere everyone can see and let him dangle for a little bit. That'll teach him to quit stealing. God, man. Also, okay, I, I actually just noticed this. How reminiscent is this is this shot from the Ymir and the whole, uh, you know, her whole tribe pointing their fingers at, at Ymir, right? Um, yeah, I don't know. It, 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 yeah, it's definitely reminiscent, but... Wow. <laughs> anyway. Um, uh, what? That's going too far. I got my coin purse back. It's fine. This isn't your problem, Missy. If we don't see set an example by punishing him, it'll be a problem for all of us merchants making a living here. <laughs> um, who knows? If he's an exiled immigrant, he might even be one of those subjects of Ymir. This is why countries around the world have been ruining or running blood tests for years. I couldn't sleep at night with devil blood tainting our community. Interesting. So they actually they actually do like uh you know to test like theoretically who who is the subject of Ymir and who isn't. Okay. Um Hey, what are you doing? Uh who said he was a pickpocket? I just said that wasn't his coin purse. The part uh, the purse is his older sister's. <laughs> so Sasha's just like, huh? <laughs> uh yep. And they got a real complicated family situation, isn't that right? Yes, I'm sorry about my little brother. <laughs> uh, you expect us to buy that? <laughs> Let's go. Uh, where did the kid go? Over there. Oh, the kid still stole the money? Um, well, that's the money I got from the Azuma Beatles anyway. Look at Aaron's face, man. And you know what? I might I might be crazy, but I feel like this we've seen this kid before. No, we we have specifically in God, what chapter was that? Was it the same chapter or the chapter after Aaron got his head sniped off by by Gabby? Um, it was one of those two chapters. I I think it was the next the next chapter when that happened, um, where we saw all like the little shards of like or like fragments of like memories. Um, in the like cu first couple pages of that chapter, I I'm pretty sure one of those shards showed this exact kid. And if that's true, like, it, first of all, it would explain Aaron, like the weird look on on Aaron's face, this this stare that he has. Um. But I, I just wonder what is the relevance, um, or the relevancy of what's the importance of this kid specifically. Um, anyway, I'm sorry you went through that. It is true that as blood testing technology has improved, we have come across another issue. Subjects of Ymir who escaped 
the intermittent zone are being discovered around the world. I bet. Um, so, and then also, uh, so this is, this is something that's been happening, um, across the world. Like, this isn't exclusive to, um, to Marley. Like, everyone, or, or, like, all the other nations are, are practicing this, this same thing as well. Because if that is true, then yeah, this, that's gonna be really, really shitty for the, uh, the subjects of Ymir who are trying to hide. Um... At the height of the Elian Empire, having a subject of Ymir in one's bloodline was widely considered to be proof of one's nobility. But as the empire crumbled, the aristocrats who fawned upon Eldia found themselves forced into exile. Um, now you see what it's like for Eldians outside the walls. You must also see how difficult it will be to convince other nations to form friendly relations with Paradis. Um... <clears throat> But if we abandon the, the path of peace, we'll have no option but to join Zeke's conspiracy. We put our fates in his hands and be forced to sacrifice the lives of Historia and the children that she'd bring into the world. Yes, and we're here to avoid that future and tomorrow. Um, yeah, and tomorrow. To attend the unveiling of the association to, pro uh, to protect the subject of Ymir at the International Forum. Uh, you still don't know what exactly this association stands for. Yes, for now we'll need to carefully observe from afar, but if we can get a meeting with them, we'll be able to tell them that the island of Paradis seeks peace. It goes without saying that the Azamobitu clan would like to help bring about this peace as well, but just how realistic do you believe this plan to be? Um, we understand how difficult it is and how dangerous, but that said, all we can do here is try our best. Very well. Where's Aaron? I'm actually really fascinated to see how this this proposition went because um, I'm assuming this is going to be a meeting between like all nations, right? Like it's not just like Marleyan officials or whatever. Um, let's see. Yeah, I mean... It, yeah, I'm I'm assuming that it, it's it's kind of a collection of like um representatives from from you know all these different nations. Um so yeah, I I I, I don't know. It, it's worth it's worth a shot, right? It's it's something that you have to do, right? You don't want to like right out the gate resort to like the rumbling, right? Um for something like that, but um yeah, I don't know. I'm going to be really fascinated to see how, how that goes. Just like how, how are these other nations going to react to, to uh, a proposed peace with, with Paradis? Um, Aaron, you do realize that you're, uh, that you're our enemy's biggest target, don't you? We've all been running around looking for you. Oh, and he's crying too. Man. I mean, like, it, it has to, like, how just putting putting yourself in Aaron's shoes for a moment like how crazy must it be um just to walk in in Marley for the first time right I can't imagine the the amount of of memories just the things that are like flooding inside of his head at this moment the like the very moment the very second that he stepped on foot on Marleyan soil just like what like exploded into his mind right um from Kruger and Gr and Grisha alone, right? Um, yeah, and he's crying, and then and then also this this kid that we don't know exactly what's going on with, um, but he he definitely he definitely has seen, he has definitely seen because he's made a couple faces to that kid. Um, anyway, and here's the kid again, uh, the boy from the market. Did something happen? Not yet. What do you mean? What is this place? After war left them without a place to stay, these people gathered here to live. They're like us. One day, their regular lives just stopped, and everything was taken from them. Like us, they have no freedom left. Interesting. Ah, uh, Mikasa. Why do you care so much about me? Huh? 
Oh, so I'm, I'm loving where this is going. It's just the two of them by themselves. Like, please, man. Is this, is this finally going to be the moment that they kiss? Um, is it because I saved you when you were a kid? Or is it because I'm a fan? Or because I'm family? Huh? What am I to you? And she's blushing, dude. Oh, my God. Um, your family. Don't tell me this old man. God damn it, dude. This stupid old man just interrupts what was supposed to be a beautiful moment. Oh, this you stupid old man, dude. But no, I, I'm I'm genuinely curious. Like, if if that scene were to play out, if that old man was not there, but if it was actually to play out in in its entirety, um, what would have happened? Um. But also, I, is is Mikasa saying that Aaron is family, like? Is that a little bit of a weird response coming from her, right? Like, obviously, like, she she does regard Aaron as, as, as that. Like, to the extent that she's going to protect him because, you know, that's how close they are. But, like, I feel like family just, like, puts, like, a, a hard stop at, like, what or how she truly feels about him, if you know what I mean, right? Like, it doesn't tell the whole story, I feel like. Like, there's definitely more but um yeah I don't, I don't know like your family is like a weird choice of words um all right so this old man is like offering like drinks or something uh they seem to be welcoming us hey what the hell are you doing aaron uh what are you stupid perfect timing huh i also love i, I also love how like Aaron has just gotten to a point like like uh John like every time John talks to Aaron is it's like in a in a like aggressive manner kind of like hey you idiot or like stuff like that you know what I mean and Aaron has just gotten to a point where he just like barely even like acknowledges it right um yeah so I, I really like seeing that um so they're all sitting together they're all just having drinks man Oh, dude, this is this is beautiful. I love this. Because theoretically, you would have to think that this is probably one of their last, like, good, like, like happy memories of all of them together, right? Before everything hits the fan, right? Um, yeah, this is awesome to see. <laughs> So let's, let's let's actually look at this man. Like I think John and Connie are like trying to drink more. And I don't know if everyone's being like, no, no, stop, please. We don't need any more. Um but they're still drinking. Even that little kid is <laughs> that kid is drunk, man. He passed out. <laughs> oh man. And Mikasa and Armin just smiling, and Aaron Aaron is smiling as well, man. That's good to see down here <laughs> look at levi and everyone's passed out i think that's sasha puking in the back <laughs> and aaron and, and mikasa sleeping together god and i love i love that it's them three right there god what like I, I i wish i know how like in the beginning of this chapter i said like i i hope it's not in the entire like the entirety of this chapter isn't a flashback but at the same time man i feel like we could have like hung on on that that moment like just like a little bit more right like i, I, I like just staying in that moment is i would i wish we got more um Anyway, we seek aid for the displaced uh, subjects of Ymir scattered across nations. These refugees were never once Eldians, nor do they have anything to do with the dangerous ideologies of the Eldian Empire. Interesting. They are nothing more than victims forced by the Eldian Empire to interbreed. They deserve compassion. Uh, it is only the devils of that island who deserve our hatred above all. 
Uh, the devils who escaped to that island 100 years ago are the ones we must abhor. Our enemies are those island devils. That was the day Aaron left us. So Aaron is basically like, hey, it, it, it can't just be like one group specifically. It's it's either all Eldians or, or none. Like, that's it, right? Um, which is totally understandable, right? Um, yeah, it, it's... It, I totally understand where, where Aaron is coming from. And, and honestly, I, I would be, I, like, I wouldn't, wouldn't take that. Um, I wouldn't listen to that anymore. Like, no, like, he, it's gotta be all of us. Right. 